Hey everybody, Will here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing to you episode number five of Three Beers and a Whiskey. Tonight we've got Fast Eddie of Branded Sin and special guest Felicia Rangel sitting in with him on guitar. Here is the whiskey and beer number three. shows coming up on November 9th we have the soapboxers coming up um, so that should be a pretty epic show because there's like five of them in the band and that's I, I <laughs> logistics are gonna work on that um, I'm also trying to get Greg Ware from the one-to-one -one bar to show up uh, who's a beer connoisseur and Ben from Come and Take It Live, I'm also wanting Ben to come on. Ben said yes, but Ben was a, a adamant. They were like, it's going to be three whiskeys and a beer. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Three beers and whiskey. No, three whiskeys and a beer. So, Ben, there's your three whiskeys, dude. Jesus. That's... Like, is this a joke? I have, I don't know. Am I, I being punked? We're dead serious on this show. Yeah. I've serious. never, I'm here for every show, and I've never seen this happen. It's because oh, it has right. a lot of eyes. Oh, wait, you know what? Uh, who is it? Um... From Sim Ross, uh, that I was drinking with. Who was Sonny. It? Sonny! Hey, Sonny, dude, we didn't even have whiskeys like this, Sonny. So. Like, I just want to drink to get it over with. Go for it, bro. No. I mean, no yeah, we, we lost. <laughs> We're all. See, this is why drinking beer and having sips of whiskey and talking about whatever the hell we talk about just starts to go downhill after a couple of beers because. Yeah, whatever. It gets we, don't, we, don't want, we don't want to start mumbling now. <laughs> uh, no, that was the last show we had with Andy McIntyre. It actually got to the point where he was, Andy, you were like mumbling and just doing all sorts of crazy it shit. Was it was a great show, though. It was, that was awesome. Doing the guy that I could loved... play the Rolling Stones with one hand on a guitar and not pay oh, attention. Man. That kid, and Andy his, McIntyre. His SpongeBob oh, impersonations were the best. Yeah, his, his SpongeBob impersonations of. Our illustrious president are freaking hilarious. No, they're awesome. Like yeah. he was so fun. The funny thing is, is when he was like, "I'm not gonna drink too much tonight because I have to drive all the way." Yeah. <laughs> and he leaves like, at two in the morning. It was like two hours. To show. Yeah. <laughs> he had to get the round rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, I saw another question come through. So I believe Miss Cruz, go ahead. Uh, speaking about being silly uh, when you're drinking or or not, uh, this question comes from Ray. What's been your most embarrassing moment on stage? And this would be geared towards Eddie. Yeah, for sure, Eddie. You had any kind of... Woo, yeah. Pulled down had, a moment on stage? I've had a lot of those. Um, I remember one time, uh, a good uh, my my boys, uh, Allied Forces, another band from Brown, a great rock band. These guys uh, are awesome. Dude, we're getting massive uh, shout-outs to the Brownsville crew down there. And uh, one day, and uh, me and Jay was, he would come and call me, hey, hey, come and do a couple, do a couple. And I was already whiskey bound already, and then I went out there, and all you heard was blah 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 blah, and that was it. Well, you're on stage. <laughs> I go, I'm gonna kill you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> and did anybody get that on video? Oh, like, hey, did. look, here's what you were doing last night. Yes, oh. they did, and I had to say, please, could you turn that off, please? Oh God, yeah, that's. <laughs> but funny. Uh, my bass, my bass boy Jimbo said, that's just rock and roll, man. <laughs> so. I mean, you're not the first. No. Now. I'll share Felicia's most embarrassing wow. moment because wow. I'm a yeah, so we got Eddie wow. having like three, four, wow. fifteen whiskeys and going blah 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 on stage, <laughs> <laughs> but Felicia with uh wow, what are you gonna say? No, <laughs> can I get a cue card of yours? Oh no! So last year or this year for South by South first. Wow, <laughs> exposed. I'm like, okay, guys, here's the real tea. <laughs> I'm like, we're finally, I'm great. like, finally, three beers and a whiskey, spilling some real tea. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I was a great. Can I tell the story? But story? it was a great performance. Please go okay, ahead and tell so it. I haven't heard this one. Oh, 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 Dad's gonna oh hear this one. Oh my God, so embarrassing. I'm a 32 year old woman. Stop. Right. <laughs> anyway, okay, so shout out my baby Christy Rattuti, Christy Riojas. Okay, so 
it was a Friday night. My brother John came into town because on Saturday we were going to do a performance together here for South by South First with Jin's plug, Shane's plug, an event that Will and Marissa have every year and a lot of bands play and it's really cool or a lot of, you know, it's, it's a hangout during South by Southwest. Anyway, um, my brother came into town, this is before he moved here, we actually went out, we were drinking already at the house, and then we... Pre-gaming. Pre-gaming, over-gaming, as per usual. Um, and then we decided to go out, like, no, like, we should not have left the house. Anyway, we went out, I remember that night, I don't even know how many Mexican martinis I drank that night, which is like, okay. Like, <laughs> Hand signs from the background. They were the it was they more were like, than two. They were like in a shaker, so like, yeah. they were literally were never running out, and I was like, little did I know, people were just buying them for me and putting them there, and I was like, this thing is like... Wow, this shaker's still full. So mm -hmm. anyway, I don't like remember anything much after that. But I do remember um, getting kicked by my brother John. Wait, because, I didn't hear about that. Oh. Okay, so backtrack. We get home. I guess I was pretty sludge that I walked into my room and I tripped on the dog gate. And when I stepped on it, it like ricocheted my face into the ground. <laughs> and I just started crying. And because I like in my brain, I was like, I just did something really bad and serious. <laughs> but then it was like, okay, back to being like whatever. And then John, I heard Veronica was behind me, and she was like, oh my god. And she was on one side of me, and my brother John was all drunk. He's like, she's fine. Oh, he's and he started get kicking up. me. Get, get up. up. He should, oh, okay. Yeah, I heard about that. He's part, like, yeah. she's fine. She's fine. She's faking me. Get up. He starts kicking me, and I'm all, Ugh. and then I, like, I, and Veronica's like, no, it's really bad. I like, Look up and I'm like, mouthful of blood, and my tooth is broken. <laughs> like, not just oh, like, <laughs> not, just, not just any tooth, like my big ass front chiclet tooth. And she got the big chip. <laughs> <laughs> no, and um, I mean, at the time, I'm kind of great. Well, it's, this is, I don't know, whatever. And I'm lucky enough at the moment, like I didn't feel all the pain that uh, it was because yeah. my nerve was exposed. Everything was. Well, I wake up in the morning, which is funny because the, I, the I morning heard, of South by South uh, first, South first, South first. Keep in mind, perform. we have to perform this day, right? Um, it was funny because you know, hearing from them, uh, Veronica, John, Andrea, because they were also taking care of Christy. I didn't forget about you, little rat. Um, she didn't trip and fall a bus. No, too. but they were like, mm, she had her own little messes that night. Um, <laughs> they were like, they had a huddle outside and they're like, she's going to flip shit oh. when she wakes up and you realize her tooth is gone. Because I'm very like about the aesthetics and I am like, that. that's like something very, I was like, no. Wake up in the morning, and I was still drunk, mind you. <laughs> um, and I was like, like all of a sudden I had this pain like rush to my head. Oh, shit. And I was like, my two fucking tooth is gone. <laughs> it was gone. Like the whole thing was gone. It was not the whole thing was not uh, gone. It was pretty gone. Did you, right? Yeah, it was a big old I got shot. a little. But did you put it under the pillow? Did you get some sand? <laughs> <laughs> did you find the other half? <laughs> 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 You know what's you funny though? I don't remember. I don't remember who it was, but they're like, "Hey, I found your tooth." <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, keep it, forget that." Of course. Um, anyway, so I was like, I wake up, and then they're like, "Just give her beer, give her beer, so she doesn't have pain." Cause like, I literally my nerve was exposed in my tooth. God, so drink cold beer. Yay! No, <laughs> they just started like giving me beers, and obviously I was drunk, so I was like, okay, you know, like what? I don't even know what time it was in the morning. Anyway, we get here to to stop myself stop first. Myself first, and it was crazy because I was just going up to people, hey, with I look real Billy Hill. <laughs> I was real Donna Jo that day. I was in I was Donna Jo. I had a cracked tooth and like it was everyone. And was, she was hammered. And I was hammered. Hey. hey, but nonetheless, I don't know how the fuck we did it, but we pulled off that show. Like, that was 
It, and there was a huge. We had. There was a shitload of people. There was about there. 60 people here. Thanks, Gru. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there's like you. 60 people here, and Felicia with her broke ass tooth. And I. I promise, and I, I asked Jonathan, do you want me to crack yours? Dude, come here, I'll crack yours wow. too, so y'all can really match. And he's like, no, that's okay. Like my whole, all my life is on the internet. So now. they got up on stage, and they killed it. I had, there were in the house, and I was like, Will Harris, Jay Harris, I hope you guys are watching. They're sitting in the back of the house, and Felicia and her brother get up on stage, and they killed it. It was such a badass performance they did. And poor Felicia, to this day, she's like, I don't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember any of that show. And they did their number one hit, Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't wow. care. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Crack Tooth, and I don't care. So, oh my god, I kind uh, of slowly turned off. Sorry. This one comes from Stacy. She wants to know, where can I see Felicia perform? She's awesome. Put my own music out there, you know? And when Austin I, is the perfect town to do that, though. Austin really is the town I where the singer-songwriter I want it to be, I want it to be, like, good. I know okay. it's not going to be perfect, but so I want it to be good. So, do you have something planned? Do you have something on schedule played? I don't have anything on schedule, okay. but what I have been on? looking, like, at open mics that okay. I could go to. For where? What places open mics? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, Greg? You have an open mic at one to one. You got let's, let's hook that up, man. Let's go Sixth Street. Man. Oh no! When is the next show you guys have? Do you have one on schedule right now? Well, you say we, uh, we're playing at on this date. Well, we we had one. We got one in Elsa. I got to get with my friend Ezio Ibarra. He, this guy's a really an awesome guy. He, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, so a date for the show? Uh, we're we're think we're gonna hit sometime in uh, November, December. Down there, we just uh, we're still in the words. Does that sound right? That. Yeah. I'm asking mom off on the side, like, so I'm like, momager. We have Chris Jenner on the sidelines over here. <laughs> <laughs> so November, December sounds right. So we're She's like, still you're doing great, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're working on things, but we're uh, working on new songs. Uh, and what we're playing right now, we're playing uh, like a lot of songs from the '70s, like some. Uh, Big Grand, example. Grand Funk. Grand Funk Railroad. We're doing some uh, Jimi Hendrix. A lot of a lot oh, of the shit. old stuff, man. Some good Dad. stuff, you know. And uh, a lot of the elderly people love that, like Dad. my age, you know. So, third beer. So. We are on the third beer, people. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching that episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Fast Eddie of Brandon Sin. And uh, make sure you come back. Look for the video link for a very special acoustic performance from Felicia Rangel.